Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much for joining us here on Talking Heads. Uh, one year on, uh, do you feel a little more stable, a little more secure today than you did in March 1998? Yes, I do feel like that. But in uh, last March also, when we formed the government, we knew that there was no alternative to our alliance. Problems came uh, from our own camp not from outside. But has there been a, as you now have raised problems came from your own camp, do you think one year on there's been a realization within your own camp that this type of uh, politics cannot survive, this brinkmanship which is practiced by some of your allies, that it has no place? No, I, I, I don't think that uh, anybody adopted the policy of brinkmanship. But when you say, sir, the regional you... parties, they represent regional aspirations. And uh, they want that uh, they should have uh, some tangible say in the running of the coalition. Do you think that's a good development for Indian politics or do you worry about it that it's becoming more and more difficult to manage these type of coalitions where different parties have different aspirations? Regional parties have come to stay. And as I said earlier, they represent people's aspirations much better than the national parties. But regional parties must develop an all India outlook. And national parties, they should have more contacts with the, at the grassroots level in different regions. So given the fact, as you say, that regional parties have come to stay, do you also believe that coalitions have come to stay, that this type of coalition experiment which you are doing is something which is now going to be more durable in Indian politics, or do you believe we'll return to single party rule after a while? We are passing through a period of transition, but uh, alignments will change. There will be better arrangement. Otherwise also, if there is no coalition, the country has to be run on the basis of uh, consensus. So tell me, do you believe that uh, uh, you, said it, you, you said a little while ago that your problems came from within as it were. Do you think that in a sense prevented you from day-to-day -day governance, that one eye of the Prime Minister was always on what Jayalalitha was doing or Mamta Banerjee was doing and that affected day-to-day -day governance at any stage? No, it did not. But you say today you're the more... The basis has been uh, the national agenda. And uh, the government has been uh, functioning on that basis. But you say you're more secure today. Is that because you feel now much more relaxed, much more in tune with being the Prime Minister of the country? Was there a spell in March last year where the fact that you'd only been a 13-day Prime Minister earlier affected you in, in any way? <laughs> To some extent, it did affect, but uh, you learn by experience. What, what are the lessons you've learned, sir? What, what lessons have you learned in this one year? Something which you would do differently now, maybe? The one lesson that I have learned is that don't worry too much. Did you worry a lot in the past? Anything would in happen? In the beginning, yes. Is that because of the nature of person that Mr. Vajpayee is much more, you were a person who gets affected easily by criticism. Your critics would say that you're too soft. <laughs> Mr. Vajpayee is not tough enough uh, for a coalition arrangement. Perhaps you need a certain element of ruthlessness sometimes. You think you're not ruthless enough, sir? <laughs> 
there is no need to be ruthless. But you think that uh, the decision to go nuclear and to have a test in Pokharan was not uh, a difficult decision and I took that decision. I knew what was coming. I knew that attempts will be made to isolate India, that there will be economic sanctions. But security of the country came first and I took a bold decision. Would you call it the high point, sir, of the last one year for your, from a personal point of view? Yes, one of the high points. You don't have any regrets about us going nuclear. There were the fact that we got isolated internationally, there were sanctions imposed against us. There was a feeling that we were not prepared for it. You say you were fully prepared for this and you have yes. no regrets. You have no regrets about No, going not in. at all. You think the neighborhood, sir, is a safer place today? Yes, it is. You took another bold decision, Mr. Vajpayee. You actually took that bus to, to Lahore. <laughs> um, you actually visited the Minare Pakistan. Was that an attempt to tell the hardliners within the Sangh Parivar uh, what you stood for? What, was this part of a battle within the Sangh Parivar or would you say this is something no, you are convinced about? No, it has nothing it? to do with uh, Sangh Parivar. I wanted to tell the people of Pakistan that we have accepted partition and they should have no apprehensions on that ground. You know, the, your critics also keep coming back with this, that the government is remote controlled by the RSS. That no. it's run from, now, how do you feel when you hear these things? No, no, I, I laugh. I take it as a joke. We are elected representatives of the people. We are accountable in parliament. So decisions we have to be taken by us. But in the process of taking decisions, we do consult uh, uh, many organizations, many individuals. How do you feel? You've also taken very tough decisions, Mr. Prime Minister, on the economic front. This budget which was there, uh, in a sense, is seen as the second wave of reforms. The finance minister spoke actually of downsizing the government. Is that again something you're convinced about that that's the way forward? Because many people when your government started thought that this would be a Swadeshi government. And it is a Swadeshi government. Swadeshi economics uh, they thought would be at the top of the agenda. No, it was not clearly explained what, uh, what we mean by Swadeshi. Now things are clear. Swadeshi doesn't mean that uh, uh, India should become an island. We have to move in this uh, competitive world. Uh, you have no regrets, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, about anything that you've done in the last one year. Would you, for example, your critics would say that right at the beginning, uh, when the cabinet was to be formed, you succumbed to pressure when that cabinet was being formed and therefore gave space to some of your allies to exploit Atal Bihari Vajpayee. <laughs> I don't think so. After all, you have to uh, carry with you your coalition partners. How difficult is that, sir? As Tell us at a practical level, 18 parties... Not very difficult. All that they want is to, to be consulted. Sometimes uh, in a hurry to take decisions, we, we forget uh, what will be the repercussions in remote area and that comes in the way. Uh, but you said you were at the very outset, you said you are feeling much more secure. Is that because you think the process of consultation now has been institutionalized? Yes. That many of these allies therefore now feel that they are, there is a Prime Minister in Delhi who is there to look after their interests? That is true. But in the process of that, do you end up succumbing sometimes sir, to pressure uh, there's a feeling, there was a perception, particularly in the first six months, that you were succumbing to pressure, let's say, by a Jailalita. That, that was the perception. Not succumbing to pressure, but uh, as I said earlier, you have to uh, take your partners with you. And if they have a feeling, whether that feeling is uh, well-grounded or not, that feeling that uh, they are not being consulted or they have been ignored, that feeling we must not allow to, uh, to continue. So in your one year, high, high point you said was nuclear tests. 
anything that else that you feel stands out which you would like to be which you like to feel that in the last one year some stamp has been left i hope my visit to pakistan will leave some stamp do you think there will be a follow up to that do you yes. hope so are you convinced of normalization of relations between the two countries sir? i hope so low points mr vajpay what what <laughs> what was it what was for you a low point in the last one year any time where you felt perhaps that you hadn't done what you should have done or something where which left you feel feeling disappointed the the volte face by congress party on bihar came as a root shock why so they were they would say they function as an opposition party do you feel that indian politics today is far too confrontational we are seeing it now in parliament on the bhagwat issue also is that what disappoints you as a veteran parliamentarian yourself yes. for the congress party members to jump into the well i never thought that uh, uh, the situation will become so de- desperate for them what about the aftermath of the stains murder and the attacks on christians do you think that was a low point because your government was targeted at that time saying that you are not doing enough at the end of the day to stop such forces no immediate action was taken in uh, in gujarat people were arrested they were detained about uh, orissa there, there is still a mystery so this perception though that the bjp remains i mean you've seen the party from the beginning the perception that people have it's a hindu national it's a hindu fundamentalist party you're run by the rss what we talked about earlier wait how do you react when such perceptions are there uh, how do you dispel such notions among people uh, as time passes uh, people are having a correct correct notion about us Do you think the last one year has gone a long way in that sense or yes, do you think some perceptions have been strengthened of people like when stains happened? Now how can, how can we we be blamed for for what happened in Orissa? No. So let me come Media back. Media has uh, uh, overplayed. Let me come back to something you said sir about legislation in the congressman rushing into the well. Do you think legislative business in this country in the last one year or over the last few years has been suffering? you find important bills the women reservation bill sir has been stalled for for months and there's been no feeling that the government is serious about it uh legislation seems to be suffering sir no i don't think so whatever we thought important we have got uh, uh, pass the pass the get the bills passed uh, pertaining to those important issues sir, but does this the arithmetic of this parliament make it very difficult for you sir in a way because No, you are all the time facing a confidence vote. That is because of the composition of parliament. Arithmetic uh, does matter. Does that trouble you? Does that make it more and more difficult for you, in a sense, to function, uh, perhaps as as prime minister? Because one eye is always on what will happen in parliament, as you said, president's rule in Bihar, and yet you can't get it passed through because the opposition party will not go along with you. Ha! Huh, but we knew we knew it beforehand. and we were prepared for it in conclusion uh, uh, mr prime minister towards the end uh, over the one year what's the the uh, i come back to it what's the main lessons you you've learned as prime minister it was some <laughs> you you've been leader of opposition for a long time making that transition to being prime minister uh, how difficult was it what's been the main experience for you there has been a mixed experience if you enjoyed it always a sense of satisfaction is there but also a feeling of sadness we could have done much more specific areas where you feel we could have done much more no it is the area of implementation policies are good they look uh, very attractive on paper but when implementation comes there is disappointment very large 
what's the roadblock there, sir? Is it the bureaucracy which stops you from implementing your, your uh, packages? or uh, Is system. it the system? System. What's wrong with it? You've seen and it. And the administration. What are you going to do to change it, sir? Are you trying to do something to change it, sir? Steps are being taken and some improvement uh, has taken place. But uh, that is the biggest bottleneck. Let me ask you, sir, you, start, you finished one year. You might have four years. Where do you go from now? What's your immediate, what are your immediate priorities now? Which direction do you head the in? Priorities have been laid down in the national agenda. We are committed to it. Do you ever fear, though, that those priorities will never really get a full chance to implement because the arithmetic of this parliament will be such that every now and then there will be this destabilizing factor. Do you think that that factor is now inherent in our politics today, given the way this government was formed? Yes. But uh, the, that doesn't prevent us from uh, uh, adopting bold policies and uh, uh, taking them to the people. One very last question, Mr. Vajpayee. There are two sides to Atal Bihari Vajpayee. There's the poet philosopher, some would say, uh, the statesman. And uh, there is another one, some would suggest, a political survivor, someone ready to compromise to survive in politics. Are there two Atal Bihari Vajpayees are really the... Uh, what is, who is the real Atal Bihari Vajpayee? <laughs> I am the real Atal Bihari Vajpayee. <laughs> do you miss anything, sir, as Prime Minister? Uh, you know, do you miss some of the things that you did when you were... When yes. you had... Like what? <laughs> what? What do you really miss, sir? given your time schedule and the... Visiting Chandni Chowk, I miss. <laughs> Anything else that you would like to do, which you feel you'd probably do only like after... to go among the people, to mix with them, to mingle with them, and to, to join in their joy, to share in their... Um, Sadness. Sometimes I feel that uh, I have, uh, uh, I am under detention. How long will this detention continue? <laughs> uh, let us see. <laughs> but you are prepared. You are you're, you're prepared to be a Prime Minister. You are not someone who wants to, who is here to just survive five years. You would like to think that now that you have finished one year, that you have actually got to do something beyond this. I have been elected for five years and I hope the, the government will last its full, full term. Right, Mr. Prime Minister. On that note, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.